right, watch fans. Got another watch here. If I'm not mistaken, this should be a Timex. So I guess this isn't really an unboxing so much as an unenveloping. You know, I was like to change things up. Now, oop, what's that? Okay. Very nice. Mm, would, you, would you look at that? I forgot to put my light on. Sorry. Okay. Oh, this is nice. This is a Timex field watch. Look at this. Very, very nice. This is a really nice watch. And it is extremely cheap, too. All right, well, let's watch a quick video on Timex, and then we'll start talking about the watch. Thank you. Timex Group, formerly known as Timex Corporation, is an American global watch manufacturing company originally founded in 1854 under the name of the Waterbury Clock Company. In 1941, the company was purchased by Fred Olson and Company and reformed into the Timex Corporation. Timex Corporation continued to operate globally for many decades with manufacturing and offices in several countries. In 2008, the company was acquired by Timex Group BV, a privately held Dutch holding company, and was renamed Timex Group USA. Currently, Timex Group BV's products are manufactured in the Philippines, Hong Kong, China, France, India, and Switzerland, often based on technology that continues to be developed in the United States and in Germany. The most famous of these manufacturing facilities is their primary quartz factory located in Cebu, Philippines. This factory produces quality quartz movements that are used in their chronograph and classic line of watches. The watches produced at this factory account for nearly 70% of total movement manufacturing. It is also the home for Timex's famous Indiglo backlit illumination system. The movements produced from this factory are known in particular for their iconic Timex sound. While noticeable, the sound is not distracting, but adds to the distinctive characteristic that comes with the purchase of every analog Timex watch. Timex remains as one of the longest lived global watch manufacturers in the world. They are known not only for their spectacular quality and innovation, but for the exceptional value to cost. All Timex watches undergo a series of controlled tests to ensure the highest level of quality to the customer. When you buy a Timex, you are not just buying a watch, you are buying heritage. All right, so now that you've had a little bit of time to look at the, to watch the video, uh, you have a little bit more history on Timex. So. American company. Um, this particular one is now made in their Philippines manufacturing plant. Uh, nice box, not too much to get into really there. Um, you know, just a cardboard box, but it's nice. But um, first thing I'll mention, of course, just get into these things here real quick. The, the user manual instructions, every, every watch comes with that. <clears throat> you got all the different languages in it. Um, tells you the different versions. This is the TW. 2T10300 VK. Essentially, it is the classic uh, Timex model, uh, and <clears throat> I have to say, I I really like it. It's it is very nice. Um, I paid twenty eight dollars for it, very cheap. I have no intention of reselling this one because um, it's not very expensive, but it is a very nice watch. I'll put the picture of the auction that I bought it on right up here, so you can see. But I bought it twenty eight dollars shipped. 
and for me that makes it an extremely good value uh, for this watch it is a very good looking watch it is not a complex watch it is their classic model uh, with indiglo and uh, oh, I think the little silver piece is on there because <clears throat> it does have I guess in effect the hacking feature so we'll see good it works um, very much like this watch I, I like the style um, it's very inexpensive but before I go into too much detail I want to make sure that you guys have the opportunity to see a little bit of information about the movement um, there's not too much about it so I will put it pictures of it up up here and I'll talk a little bit about it down at the bottom so you can see uh, I will do that after making this video so I'll just put some nuggets of wisdom down there at the bottom but it is a uh, in-house made movement it is not something that uh, Timex buys from another company Timex makes their own movements and it is a fairly inexpensive movement um, I think this has this has Indiglo but we'll have to show it later um, but let's first kind of get into uh, some of the things so this is the model number it is 14,000 yen I think that is yon I'm not sure sorry I'm not good in the forex but I will do a conversion down there at the bottom to see what the MSRP actually was so you should see that down at the bottom remember I paid $28 and I think this is a great value it comes with a, a beige NATO strap um, sits very nice with a PVD coating uh, interesting too to note this is not a mineral crystal this is in fact a um, an acrylic crystal just like the old school ones let me see if I can find gosh I have so many of them here's a Marcel and C that I've restored uh, also has an acrylic crystal this is just what the older watches came with uh, and so that's partly one of the reasons why of course it's a classic it's a classic styling you've probably seen a lot of these uh, throughout history a lot of people wear these um, and this is the new version of it, or I guess I should say the re-release. I really like it. It has a 24-hour indicator on there as well. Uh, it's not a GMT watch. Of course, it just shows you, if you were trying to tell military time <laughs> what what the hour would be, uh, a lot of people, military people, and uh, would already know this, but if you didn't, this would help you. If somebody said, oh, I need you there, 2100 sharp, you'd know that that would be 9 o'clock. Uh, but... Either way, really nice uh, hacking feature. Pull it out, you know, and you can set the time. Has good action for whatever that's worth. That's an important thing to you. you know, it's almost two o'clock, so I'll set it. Actually, what is it? Oh, got a clock at the top. All right, 1.27. So um, it sits like that. It sits just proud <clears throat> when you want to turn on Indiglo. Now, it does actually also have... Uh, reflective coating so we'll look at that too and then I'll also show you the indiglo first thing I'm gonna do is just show what it looks like at night so I'll turn off all the lights so it has uh, both uh, luminescence on the indicators which is nice but it also has indiglo which is very cool now for me, I think that is super cool. So it uses a coin battery, a 2032, I believe it is. But I mean, look at this. This is spectacular. You can clearly see this at night. Indiglo is uh, patented uh, from Timex. Uh, you only see it on the Timexes, but this is just absolutely spectacular. So I think that's, that's a huge plus. I mean, for a $28 watch, you don't even get that from Rolex. And it doesn't take much to add that. I mean, you could... In effect, also have a mechanical watch if you were so inclined that also had that. Um, case, is, case is really wonderful. The strap is nice. It's not, um, you know, it's, it's, it's neither cheap nor, nor high quality. It's just a good nylon strap. I'm going to take this off. I'll do it later. But, you know, let's get into the measurements um, so you can kind of get an idea. Remember, always use a plastic caliper when measuring watches because you can scratch them. The case is fairly conservative at 40 millimeters, so it is larger than what they used to be, but, you know, originally, but still nice, good size. It's not, not too much. 20 millimeters for the lug. 
and the depth is 11.5, we'll say, to keep it properly rounded. So it's really nice. Let's check the weight also. Not a very heavy watch. So we'll say about 34 and a half grams. So that's that's much lighter than some of those beast watches I've been I've been weighing lightly. <clears throat> I, I have to say this is I, I really like this watch. Let me get the stupid tag off. I'm having a hard time getting this off. Because I want to put this on. I, I really like the style and the look of it. Fits comfortable, fits nice. I I honestly uh, you know, it's it's very inexpensive. So if you're just looking for a good solid field watch, this really, this really just, it, it goes with everything. I mean, obviously more so with khakis uh, and, um, you know, I guess cargo pants if you're so inclined, but uh, very nice watch. I, I really like the look of it. It's very comfortable, um, acts absolutely spectacular. I, I really can't say enough about it. Just a, an overall big fan. Um, <clears throat> that's really all there is to uh, talk about this watch. Uh, obviously quartz, I went into that. Uh, please discuss in the comments below your thoughts on this watch. If there are any other watches that you'd like me to discuss, please leave that in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this, uh, this video, please give it a thumbs up and I encourage you to subscribe. It really makes it worthwhile to me. I don't make any money off doing this. I just do it for fun and I enjoy the watches. So thank you very much.